Hi, you guys. It is time for episode 58. 58 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. I am Risa Auger, and this is my happy, healthy assistant. No? No. Happy, not healthy assistant. kid? Not assistant. Whatever. She's here, and she's going to help, and she's going to make fun signs. Remember, you have to, oh, good job. You wrote backwards, you remembered. Okay, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And um, this is the last episode of last. 2019. Oh, 2019. Because um, this week we'll be celebrating 2020, the start of a brand new decade. And um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping if you are new to this, that this will inspire you to make some brand new changes. I'm gonna get real comfortable here. Okay, you guys, I um, was just reviewing my meal plan for the week, and I made a giant mess. Like, you guys, look how many, like, scratch-outs. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to rewrite this, but that's okay. I'm going to go over it with you guys for some inspiration, um, share with you what I'm possibly thinking this week is kind of crazy with the parties, and I have a concert, and, uh, you know, life happens, and that's okay. It's okay to go out and do things. You don't always have to be home. Um, Cause remember there are strategies for eating out. There are strategies for going parties. Um, I have done episodes, multiple episodes on both of them. So go back and look at my other episodes and check them out for some tips on going to parties and hanging out um, during social events. So um, last night, okay. With all the holidays, there's so much food, which means leftovers. So last week we talked about leftovers and um, last night I took my own advice and I used the ham from Christmas to make tacos and they were so good. Oh my gosh. I was like, not sure how to make them, but I went on Pinterest and I found a couple different recipes and um, you're so funny. So I ended up making pineapple. I used pineapple salsa, which I just had because I love it um, on and Okay, do I want to say on? So I used the pre-done um, ham, I used pineapple salsa, and I used some green chilies, and that's it. Just a little bit of olive oil to make the pan hot. Um, pineapple, that's a good drawing. So you guys, if you want to, you can use whatever you want from your meals. Don't waste it if it's good. I mean, put it in the refrigerator. Don't let it go more than, you know, a few days, but make something out of it. Put it in the freezer if it's going to be a while. Um, but there are so many options for leftovers and I love the way that it makes the flavors come out even more when you use it as a leftover because it's been sitting in its own juices. So ham tacos. But sometimes it's bad because it's been frozen. It depends on how you reheat it. But... When you put it in the freezer, it gets more juicy because you, it melts and it just like becomes more, it like sinks in. And it, it does, it sinks in, the flavors sink in, yeah. So I totally encourage you guys to get creative with your leftovers. And um, I will write this down and I will put it in the email that goes out. Um, so if you are not on my email list, get on my email list. My email is risaauger at ymail.com. Yes, ymail.com, not gmail, ymail.com. Send me your email address or visit my website and fill out the form so I can copy and paste your email address from there. Um, and that's just risaauger.com. That's R-I-S-A-A-U-G-E-R.com. There's some fun stuff there. I am working on building out some more stuff there too. So check back for some new content, hopefully soon. Um, it's ready to go. I just hopefully. need to figure out how to put it on my site where I want it, all that kind of good stuff. So. Let's see what else did I want to talk about. Um, oh, using leftovers, and then this year is going to be 2020, right? So that's yes. a new decade, and I know we're all setting goals. And I really hope, I really, really, really hope that one of those goals is to be a pretty person, be a little healthier, right? I know you guys are all working on it, and thank you so much for listening and using all these inspiring ideas. I hope. Um, but one of the things I want you to consider is doing a food journal, just a couple days a week, or maybe even for a week out of the month. Um, you don't have to do it every day and I don't want you to log calories. This is not to log calories. This is not for that. 
this is to figure out how your body feels when you eat certain things. So there are lots of meal plans out there. There's Whole30, there's Keto, there is just simply going gluten-free, there's going vegan, there's pegan now. Um, you could be a pescatarian, you could be a vegetarian. You know what? It doesn't matter which one you pick, you need to make sure that it feels good for your body. So, um, what I like to tell friends and clients and whoever else will listen to me, even people just at the grocery store, is keep a journal. Just write it down. Put a column of, like the date, obviously, because you want to keep track, right? Um, write down like how you feel in the morning, right? Like how you wake up feeling, because that's kind of big too. Like if I eat something at night, how do I feel in the morning? Right? So write down how you feel in the morning and then keep this journal with you. And you can do it as notes on your phone. Um, but write down what you have for breakfast, what you have for lunch and your snacks, anything like that. How much I'm water you have. I know I need a, another journal for that. You're gonna need another, you have lots of journals. Yeah, but so you just need I a piece of, you can be a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be even a spiral notebook, just a piece of paper that you keep with you for a couple days. So you write down what you have to eat in one column. Write down the times of day with that too, so that you can see like, oh, if I eat breakfast earlier or later, or if I eat dinner later, how that makes you feel. So times of day are great. Um, kind of just a description of what you eat. You don't need to write out full recipes but just kind of what you ate and some things that were in there. Um, and then in portions, like, oh, I eat. So that way you find out if I eat a cup of rice, it's okay. If I eat a cup and a half of rice, not so much. Um, so that's it. So you're going to write the date. You're going to write the time of day that you're eating. You're going to write down what you're eating. And then in the next column, write down how you feel after. So if you feel overly full, if you feel energetic, if you feel clear, if you feel satisfied, if you feel joyful, if you feel like crap, sometimes a meal just might make you feel like crap. And then maybe that means that food doesn't resonate with your body, right? And that's why we write down the ingredients because you can notice a trend. Like let's say it's chickpeas right? And you had chickpeas on Monday, Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday. And you had chickpeas with eggplant one day and you had chickpeas with just brown rice the other day. Well, maybe it's the chickpeas, right? Because uh, if you had eggplant with something else another day and it didn't bother you, it's not the, the eggplant or it's not the brown rice because you had brown rice two days after that and you felt okay. So if you write down each of the ingredients, then you can start to see trends as you go back and review. Um, I have done this before with just a blank sheet of paper with, or with a spiral notebook. I've done it on apps. Um, I've also done it in a pre-done book, um, of course, that you could buy for me. Um, but that one even goes into depth with like, videos and um, a recipe book that goes with it and all kinds of stuff and it's really in depth. Um, so if you want to try that, you can totally do that and I'd love to give you information on it. Um, it helped me so much and then I got even got certified in it because I liked it so much. So um, if you guys want to try that, let me know. You just email to. me at risaauger at ymail.com and I can tell you some more about it. You can decide if you want to do why that or if you just want to. Why? Yeah, or if you just want to do it by yourself on a on a piece of paper. I am happy to review that with you and happy to look at it um, and help you sort of decipher sort of what's going on, but you have to be super detailed. And that's the idea behind it is that you're writing down the details so that you can study yourself so that you can find out what works why? for you. Okay, sweetie. You want to find out what works for you because not every meal plan is good for you. Um, I know that I can't go strictly vegan. I just, I can't. Uh, one thing, I miss cheese. Oh my gosh, when I've gone vegan, I miss cheese so much. But also a lot of those things that have protein in them also have a ton of fiber. And I can only have a little bit of fiber at a time. I really have to space it out, but I want that high protein and I don't want to do it strictly through... Um, 
through a supplement all the time. Like I really want real food most of the time. Um, so I couldn't do it because it was too much fiber for me. But that's not to say that you couldn't do vegan if you really want to. So if it works for you, do it. If you are just basing your meals on whole real foods, that's where the nutrition comes in. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. So in 2020, I, my wish for you is to, wish, wish, wish for you, a genie bottle. Uh -oh, is to find a meal plan that works for you. That is not difficult. That works in your life, in your belly, um, that gives belly, you energy belly, 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 belly. and, um, makes you feel amazing. Okay. So, um, oh, and that's based on real foods. Nope. Yeah. As little processed as you can. Okay. So yeah. that's that. Feel like um, a superhero. And I want to hear what you guys are going <laughs> to do. I want to see your journals. PM them to me. Email them to me. Um, I want to. You're going to do a healthy journal? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to say cheeses and yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on that. Okay. <laughs> so. All but of that know, said, I don't know all the ingredients. Though. Well, you don't have to write down the ingredients. You just write down that you ate yogurt. By the way, Cheez Its are one of our favorite cheat, cheat foods in this house. You know, like there's that 80 20 rule, and Cheez Its fit into our 80 20 rule, right? 80 20. We eat mostly healthy, so we eat like super clean 80% of the time, but then sometimes chocolate chip cookies and Cheez Its happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes hot chocolate happens and they're sitting next to sitting next to my coffee and they're the same size and I accidentally drink the hot chocolate and oh it's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did that today, by the way. It was not a fun experience. Cause I was expecting coffee and I got hot chocolate and I was not a good surprise. Um all right. Uh what else? So let's talk about my meal plan and what is going on this week. And this mess that I just made. All right, so what I think, um, yeah, the 80-20 rule, that's right. 80-20 is a good thing. Um, let's see. So I was going to make some gnocchi tonight, but we got invited to a friend's house. And so yeah. we we're having whatever they make for dinner. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to take the veggies that I was going to make tomorrow night. I mean, tonight, and then make them at a separate time during the week. Yeah. Um, so tonight, or tomorrow you could just night. Bring them. Well, I don't want to be rude and add to dinner. She already has it all planned. Oh. Yeah. Um, Whatever. and she's a really good cook, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, wait, if she says a good cook, why do you cook with her and just let because her do it? Because sometimes we like to cook together. Just let because her do we, it if she says a good cook. Well, I like to cook, and we like to cook together. You say and you like to eat. I do like to eat. I like to do both. So, let's talk about what's on my meal plan. So, um, I'm going to make some harvest lentils. So, harvest lentils. Harvest lentils. That sounds weird. Um, I'm instead of like um using ground beef for meatless Monday, I'm going to use lentils because they have that same crumbled mouthfeel. So, I'm going to do them in a harvest sauce. And then I'm going to roast some asparagus and I'm going to lay them out flat so they're nice and pretty. And then I'm going to put the lentils over or lentils over them and then sprinkle feta on top. So the lentils have protein. The feta has protein. The harvest sauce has protein because it has a little cream in it. Um, and that's what we're going to do for that. Um, and then Tuesday is New Year's Eve. So we're going to a party and who knows, there is going to be so much food there. Um, I know that there are sliders coming. There are like, there's sushi coming. There's a veggie platter. There's a fruit platter coming. There's going to be cheese and crackers on a charcuterie board. So much food. Like so much food. Um, and so I will definitely be employing my whole step away from the food thing because otherwise I could eat all night long and not remember anything that I had eaten and I would end up eating like four times as much as I should. So, um, I will be nibbling a little bit on everything, but definitely trying to keep it to a minimum and stepping away at a certain point in the night. Um, so 
So we are bringing, I don't know, my husband wants me to bring these masubi things, which is like kind of like spam sushi. And we're bringing cheese and crackers because I have a ton of it right now. So I'm going to share the wealth. And um, I already know there's other people bringing some other different healthy stuff. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay, Holly, that's enough. Yeah. Um, the day after that is New Year's Day. And traditionally, we go to my mother-in-law's house and she makes us ham bone soup. I um, like the soup, so she makes me something else. Yeah, ham bone soup with uh, greens. And so I will be having greens in my ham bone soup because I love it like that. And then she also makes us cornbread. I and hate it like that. Fresh but cornbread. I, the only thing I like about that meal for you is the cornbread. The cornbread. Yeah. She eats the cornbread. And I then, like the cornbread. I know. It's really good. The cornbread is the favorite part. With lots of butter? Yeah. With lots of butter. <laughs> so at that night, I'm going to make something that is totally the opposite of that. And um, she usually makes it. I think I'm going to make some edamame tacos. No matter what I make, I'm probably, um, actually now that I'm really thinking this, I might not make tacos. I don't know what I'm going to make. It's no, going to be something Tuesday. totally different. Um, maybe we'll have ravioli that night. Yeah. Earlier. You know what? I'm going to switch this again because I'm crazy like this. Okay. So then we're going to have ravioli and She's roasted veggies. I bet she's gonna like take oh my another gosh. one and mess it up. Uh, so one. we're gonna do ravioli, right. uh, and then roast uh, roasted zucchini, cilantro, lime zucchini, because the raviolis that I picked up uh, have poblano chicken inside, and I'm super excited about them. And she's gonna try them for the first time I'm not. because she wanted to try the ones with meat inside and not just veggies inside. So I I'm excited about the that. I wanted the one with cheese inside, not the meat. Is it cheese? They all have cheese. It's cheese and meat. Okay. And then the other ones have veggies and meat. Anyway, we'll argue about this later. So uh, the next night, I'm going to a concert. Oh my gosh. It's going to be at a restaurant. It's um, at an Italian restaurant. And so you have to order off their menu. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to have. I've never been there before. So, And I've never seen this person before. So I'm really excited to do both. Um, but, you know some sort of veggie and a lean protein is what I'll probably be ordering and it'll be a good night and I'm super excited. So this week is kind of totally off. Uh, the next night I am going to make a spicy, uh, spicy pizza with, um, Ew. spicy pizza is good with pepperoni and turkey on top and then a spinach and beet salad. Um, and then the weekend, we're not sure yet, um, but we'll see what I come up with. All right. So that's it. Yeah. Um, on my meal plan, I also put her, her, um, breakfast. So I don't have to remember what I made for I the day before. Do, um, cereal she on always Saturdays. does cereal on Saturdays because she wakes up and makes her own breakfast and she can And she's asleep. So and like, usually I'm yeah. still asleep. I like to. Three times a Third time's the term. Oh my because gosh. she's gonna do it again, and then she's gonna change her mind. Oh my gosh! Again, I know. and then she's gonna do it again. Well, I forgot that we're having cornbread for lunch, and then we don't need to have corn taco shells oh, too. So my God. I know it's just a lot of corn. I like to mix it up, mix it up through the day. She also likes to change up her mind through the day. I do. All right, so that is what's going on in my world. Sorry. I. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. And I wish you all a brand new, amazing 2020. I would love to hear how you're celebrating. I would love to hear if you're eating something special to celebrate. Um, I would love to hear if you're going to do the journal or if you want to try the journal that I was telling you about that kind of formalizes everything and it comes with a whole set of videos and a recipe book. Um, and it's really cool. And then you can go back and reference it and then you can watch the videos over and over if you want to. There's a ton of tips in there. And it's kind of like, if I was going to make one, this is what it would be. And so that's why I like to offer it to people because it's so close to what I've learned and how I look at food that it just, oh, I didn't have to write it. I just use this one for people or recommend this one to people. So um, it's really easy to use and really informative when you go back and look at it. Uh, and, and so any journal is going to do. So don't overthink the journal. Again, don't put in calories. Just put in portion sizes because really calories 
don't really matter. Um, it's more about portions. It's more about getting in as many veggies as you can with a little bit of lean protein on the side and mixing in those dark leafy greens and then topping it all with a little bit of healthy fat, which I've been over again and again. So um, go back and listen to other episodes and you'll hear me talk about all the things that need to be in your meal. And then I'm always happy to go over each one with you um, and come up with a specific meal them plan. A, a plate? No. Um, and then I can, no. And then uh -huh. I can help you come up with something that works for you. All right. This has been a very long episode because I get excited when I talk about meal journaling um, and about my food. Uh, so, <laughs> happy new year. Have a great time. Enjoy yourself. And then go make a journal. Bye. Bye, you guys. Might move backwards.